XRP is headed to $2 in the next few weeks, and here's why. What's up, guys? Welcome to Money Site, your favorite crypto channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you get updates when we drop new videos. To my Money Side gang, welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, and share if you enjoyed watching. Now, the biggest challenge that this coin has had to face was the lawsuit by the SEC. I came across an article that highlights what's currently happening with the lawsuit, and it reads, Government watchdog Empower Oversight is now investigating conflicts of interest between SEC officials, crypto, XRP, and the Ripple lawsuit. Recently, it requested internal documents regarding the case. It aims to track any potential conflict of interest at the commission, especially involving former high-level officials. This is highly relevant to the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple Labs and its employees. The agency announced on Wednesday that it has submitted a detailed request to the SEC, seeking communications between SEC officials and their current and former employers. The request was filed under the Freedom of Information Act. FOIA. As per its official website, Empower Oversight Whistleblowers and Research, Empower Oversight is a nonprofit, nonpartisan educational organization dedicated to enhancing independent oversight of government and corporate wrongdoing. It works to help document and report corruption to the proper authorities. Along with that, it also holds them accountable to act on those reports. Empower Oversight founder Jason Foster wrote in his letter to the chief FOIA officer, Olivier Girard, we write today seeking information regarding the appearance of conflicts of interest by former high-level officials at the SEC relating to cryptocurrencies. The firm explained that in a suspicious move, senior SEC official William Hinman reportedly participated in the SEC's regulation of cryptocurrencies while receiving millions of dollars from his former employer, the law firm Simpson Thacker. And then further connecting the dots, they elaborated that Simpson Thacker works with Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. This is an industry organization that works to drive the use of Enterprise Ethereum. Moreover, Empower Oversight made the point that Hinman was the one who declared originally that Ethereum was not a security. This actually made the crypto's value rise by a large amount. Later, the SEC sued Ripple, which is a major Ethereum competitor, and declared its cryptocurrency XRP as security. As a result, XRP fell by 25%. So what happened next? After the SEC filed the lawsuit, Hinman left the agency in December 2020 and returned to Simpson Thacker as a partner. Likewise, Empower Oversight also reported that the leader of the SEC division that brought the XRP lawsuit also left to join Simpson Thacker later. As if this wasn't enough, they also mentioned the former SEC chairman, Jay Clayton. It focused on how he handled cryptocurrency issues while heading the securities regulator. In detail, as with Mr. Hinman and Ether, while at the SEC, Mr. Clayton declared that Bitcoin wasn't a security and its value rose. Empower Oversight stressed on the fact that the SEC filed its lawsuit against Ripple over the sale of XRP at the end of Clayton's tenure. Further, after he left the SEC, Clayton joined One River Asset Management. The company is a crypto hedge fund exclusively focusing on Bitcoin and Ether. These new revelations are extremely important in determining what will become of the currency this year. Notably, XRP has performed very well amid the recent crypto market bull run. This week, even as both Bitcoin and Ethereum stagger a bit with 1.41% and 4.32% drops respectively, XRP has risen by a strong 11.47%. As you can see, the regulatory body is trying its best to avoid revealing what they were up to and will do anything to cover their tracks, including revealing the documents that show how they came up with their decision that Ethereum and Bitcoin are not securities. This court case is said to have a long-lasting effect on the crypto world. Yep, that's right. Now, here's another article that goes into detail about it. The article was published on Politico.com, and it reads... Federal regulators are pursuing cryptocurrency startups in court and striking a growing number of legal settlements for rule violations, triggering complaints from the industry and sympathetic lawmakers who say it threatens a growing sector of the economy. 
Over the past month alone, the Securities and Exchange Commission, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, and the Treasury Department announced more than $120 million in penalties aimed at digital currency exchanges and other service providers that officials said weren't complying with federal markets regulations and anti-money laundering requirements. Several states also escalated their own crypto enforcement crackdowns this summer. CFTC Commissioner Dan Berkovitz said in an interview that some cryptocurrency companies believe the rules don't apply to them. He said regulators are now vigorously pursuing legal action to protect customers, ensure market integrity, and prevent systemic risk. SEC Chair Gary Gensler also warned this month that crypto was rife with fraud, scams, and abuse, and that his agency was prepared to use its authorities, as far as they go, to police the market. This should serve as a massive wake-up call to the crypto industry, said Charlie Cooper, a former CFTC chief operating officer, now with software and blockchain technology firm R3. A policy or posture of ignoring Washington or showing disdain for Washington will ultimately be a failed strategy. The enforcement actions are fueling debate about how cryptocurrency players fit into financial regulations. Federal regulators say the new digital currency platforms must adhere to existing rules. But industry players counter that it is not that simple, and it's time for Congress to pass new laws that are more tailored to crypto. This regulation by enforcement that we're seeing is not the way to go because it doesn't create good policy, said Kristen Smith, who advocates for the cryptocurrency industry as executive director of the Blockchain Association. Regulators, in particular the SEC, think that the laws and regulations are crystal clear and that they're very easy to interpret. But for those of us on the other side of the table that are working in the industry and its ecosystem, the laws aren't clear and it's very difficult to figure out how to apply them. The market value of Bitcoin and other digital currencies hit $2 trillion again this week, meaning the stakes have never been higher for companies looking to enter the space. The movement has also spawned a whole sector of decentralized finance applications, so-called DeFi apps, that offer automated, autonomous trading and lending services with minimal human interaction. One such DeFi service, Poly Network, disclosed losing $600 million in a breach earlier this month. That comes months later after XRP has been on the hot seat. There are also growing concerns that the whole crypto community will be in trouble when the crypto regulations hit. Thankfully, Ripple has been working hand in hand with the government. That means they've always been on the right side of the law. It's unfortunate for them right now because they didn't count on a lawsuit from the regulatory body. That begs the question, what happened? And why did the SEC come after Ripple now? As I've constantly said, there's always something behind the curtains that we don't see. And I believe there's an end game that we don't know about. Besides, this wouldn't be the first time we've gotten played, only to realize that there was something big that was about to happen. In my opinion, I believe the dawn of CBDCs is the reason why Ripple is under the radar. That's because it's the only cryptocurrency that supports CBDCs and actually has a framework where CBDCs can flourish. And with that, I can comfortably say that there's someone who's behind the curtains and they are trying to slow down the future of Ripple. And guess what? Whoever it is, they are failing terribly. A tweet by Ripple was recently posted and it says, Increased financial inclusion and innovation stimulus payments can be made a reality through CBDCs. James Wallace, VP of RippleX, recently shared why we believe governments should embrace their full potential to ensure the next wave of financial innovation. Typically, this company supports the endless applications of CBDCs and how they can change the game, especially in the crypto space. In fact, when CBDCs drop, it will be easy for the governments to impose crypto regulations, and that's where I believe things will change. So in short, right now, Ripple has a lawsuit with the government not because of something illegal, but they are trying to slow down the future of this coin until and when the government is ready to launch crypto regulations. I can speculate that this coin's price will skyrocket even beyond the moon when that happens. Right now, the target is slightly above $2, and that's an achievable goal. I'm sure it will happen in the next few days. On that note, let's take a look at the technical analysis to tell what will happen from the charts. As you all know, the charts never lie. XRP recently broke and closed above $1.03 to the $1.10 daily resistance cluster. Now the broken area turned into a strong demand zone. Retesting that structure, the price formed a double bottom formation on intraday timeframes and violated a bullish flag pattern 
to the upside. To me, it is a strong trigger to buy the market. My goals at the beginning, $1.32, $1.49, then the $2 mark. Please do your own research. As always, be wise and trade safely, guys. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Tell us what you think in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to click on the subscribe button below. Turn on notifications, that way you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.